Welcome back to Obermott Stock Search. Today we are going to look at returns. Returns of the markets we cover. What kind of share price increases and dividends did investors receive from the markets out there? You can find that on the Obermott homepage. Have a look here. This is the Obermott homepage and you'll find the returns in the stock section all the way down there. If you click here, you see all returns from all markets from the stock indices, you know, like here uh, for Australia, it's a country index, for Belgium, for Germany, for instance. And what you have here on the right side is the newest, newest returns for 2015's 15 year to date, you know, until we make the analysis. You can click here on 2015, and what you see is the one, the, the markets with the worst return, Indonesia, Turkey, Singapore, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Dow Jones in the US, all had very bad returns. We all converted the returns into our point system from zero to 100, and come, you know, markets that have above average returns, which means um, compared to others are better than 50% of the market, are light green and dark green are all those above the 75th percentile. You are not interested in the markets that have low returns, of course, so we sort the other way. And what we can see here is all the markets with good returns. There are three countries, Germany, Ireland, Denmark, and Argentina, with the highest return. Then we have a climate protection market. You know, in the USA, we have a sound incentives market in South and Eastern Europe. There are more sound incentive markets, you know, France, Portugal, more countries, climate protection. And we also see the family friendly stocks in Europe have an above average return. They have, they are better than 78% of our markets. If I look at this, you know, I see a lot of focus markets, a lot of markets with special topics at Obermott, family friendly, climate protection, sound incentives. These are all markets that are, you know, that are so-called socially responsible investments. Let's have a look at the family friendly in more detail. You do that by going to the homepage, click here on SRI, climate SRI, socially responsible investment criteria, and you'll find the family friendly stocks. You know, they are here. So they had really good returns. Um, as, as a matter of fact, because I saw these good returns on the Obermott website, I had a look at the actual returns so that you can see how much better the focus markets were compared to the indices. And you have that here on this graph which I'll show here uh, briefly. Um, we have all the climate protection stocks, we have all the family friendly stocks, and we have all the classical indices, and we have the sound incentive stocks. So what you can actually see here is that the family friendly stocks performed the best, you know, and the indices actually were even in negative territory. How is that possible? Well, if you're on the family friendly uh, page here, you can read, you know, what family friendly stocks are. And basically, you know, there are sources here that could help you identify the reasons why these, you know, markets perform so well. Clicking on catalyst.org gives you this here under disrupted default, diversity matters. You have research that says it pays to be inclusive. It pays to, you know, include women in the process of um, investing because they have higher return equity, higher sales, higher invested capital. As a matter of fact, there's a report and you can see here, you know, they are 53, 42%, 66% better in these operating metrics. But you will probably ask yourself um, why, uh, the, you know, how this affects your stock price. And we have that here at Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse did a report that we see here in front of us and they found that the share price performance of all companies is better if they have one or more women on board versus those companies that have no women on board. This was actually 
pretty old, already pretty old, you know, goes all the way to December 11. And, you know, we were then thinking it's actually interesting to see how these family-friendly sound incentive stocks compare to normal, normal market indices. And what we found when you look over a long period of time, we found this, basically, uh, which uh, is the return of all focus markets against all stock indices. And what you can see here is basically that in most, most of the time, the stock market and the focus markets are roughly the same. And to be honest, that's really what I would expect because at the end of the day, there is no reason to believe that um, a certain investment criteria should give you better returns than others. Because for the simple reason that if you know, that investment criteria would give you better returns than other investment criteria, the financial profes professionals would have come and bought these stocks because they knew already that they are going to give you better returns. And if they buy the stocks, the prices go up, uh, up and the returns are the same again. The bad news is that there is no indication or no reason we can believe today that the family-friendly and climate-friendly stocks will do as good uh, in the future as they did 2015 in the past. But the good news is whenever you feel inclined to invest in a climate-friendly stock or family-friendly stock, you can feel pretty safe about it because there is no reason why it should uh, perform worse. How do you know about family-friendly stocks and climate-friendly stocks? Well, you can go to the Obermott web website, go to your top 10, to the top 10 alert, you know, subscribe to the free top 10 uh, alert from Obermott, and then when you scroll all the way down, we have here uh, focus markets, and you can click the family-friendly stocks, the good governance stocks, the climate protection market leaders, the sound incentive market leaders, and you will get updated on these stocks all the time, and maybe you do have a better return, because there is reason to believe that all-inclusive companies, family-friendly companies, perform better as other companies that don't do this. Have fun investing. Bye-bye.